Babe. Yes, love? Remember the days when we ate grains and carbs? I do. Going down to the local taqueria and ordering a giant plate of steak. And shrimp. Nachos. The cheese pulls. The toppings. The stomach aches. The <laughs> headaches. The prices. Yeah, right, right, right. So the cleaning supplies. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so I was thinking, for date night. Oh, our patented Q-chips? Agree to disagree on the name, but yes. Date night? <laughs> date night. <laughs> Target Hop was filmed in front of a live studio. Target Hop is Our true fans know that we fell in love at a Target. And? No. But to add to our lore, we have had nachos on more of our dates than any other food. It's a food that we both loved, and when we went low carb, no grain, we both really missed it. For this date night, we are making the ultimate loaded Q-chips. Or, as I like to call them, keto nachos. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, we put the recipe in the description. Let's get into it. My favorite type of nachos is shrimp nachos. I like meat. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're working together on this one, we decided to... Do a three meat trio. Yeah, that's right. And we are using three kinds of meat. That's right. Steak, chicken, and scrimps. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Shrimp. I say scrimps. Shrimp. Ingredients that we're grabbing on this hop, aside from the meat, will be pimentos, onions. You can do white or red. Can't forget the avocado. Oh, and I'll grab the pancetta. Good call, babe. Of course, cheese. Two kinds, mozzarella and Mexican style. Where did he go? Pancetta, pancetta, pancetta. Oh, found it. Wait a minute. There's a distinct but subtle difference between pancetta and this, this, this peasant food. I guess we can just use what we have at the house for now. Oh, there you are. Hey. I guess the last thing we need is salsa. Mm-hmm. Here are all the ingredients that you will need. It will also be in the video description as well. Let's get cooking. <laughs> First, stare into the flame. There is only you and the flame. The void around you is vast. Pull from that void your weaknesses, your flaws. Now feed them into that flame. Uh, hmm? or <laughs> add oil to a medium skillet over a medium heat. Once hot, add the rinsed and dried shrimp to the skillet. Cook thoroughly on either side for about four to six minutes. They'll look delicious before they're done, but don't eat them. <laughs> don't eat them until they're cooked. <laughs> yeah, excellent rule. <laughs> Salt and pepper to taste. Add them to a separate bowl and hide them away from it. Yeah, I'll eat them. Add some olive oil to the griddle or skillet and turn the burners on high heat. Once hot, add the steak strips to the griddle and season with salt and pepper. Move the steak around from time to time. That way you feel like you're doing something. <laughs> and if someone walks in and asks for anything, just shrug your shoulders without looking away from the meat. Mm -hmm. A little shake of the head doesn't hurt either. Is that what you've been doing? Absolutely not. What do you mean? Huh. Shock. <laughs> <laughs> Cook for about four to seven minutes or until the meat is cooked through. Then add to a bowl and literally hide it from me or there won't be any left for the nachos. True, it's happened before. <laughs> ah yes, chicken. It's the Prius of the meat community. Huh? After cutting into strips, put more oil in the skillet. And once hot, add the meat. Then salt and pepper to your desired ataste. That means taste. <laughs> Remember, these nachos are gonna be loaded with other flavors. You're going to want to saute this for roughly 10 to 15 minutes. Be sure it's cooked all the way through. They should have golden brown edges and have no pink at all. Once complete, add to a bowl and immediately eat a few pieces before anyone can take it away from you. No, give me that. <laughs> Cut the avocados into small cubes and scoop out with a spoon into a small mixing bowl. Season with salt and pepper and then use the fork to mash and mix it. Chunky is okay. Add some red pepper for an added kick. Now for the jalapenos. <laughs> <laughs> what? So I can't say scrimps, but you get to say Julia, Julia go, uh -huh. whatever you just said. <laughs> <laughs> Slice into thin bite-sized pieces and set aside. 
dice these into teeny tiny little pieces that you can barely see, but you can definitely taste. Then say scrimp, scrimp. Say it several times if you want to. <laughs> Place in these glass bowls. If you don't have these, press pause and do a quick target hop and go get some. We'll wait. Rip open the bag of mozzarella to ensure you can't reseal it. <laughs> <laughs> then add two cups of the mozzarella into a medium sized mixing bowl. Add two eggs and then two tablespoons of almond flour. Then add the pancetta that you definitely got from Target. Pepper to taste. Do not add salt. Okay, mama. Then stir like you mean it. Don't add salt. <laughs> so, once the batter is mixed well. Before that, uh, be sure the quesadilla maker is plugged in. Why are you looking at me? You know why. Okay, look. I can admit that I forgot to plug it in once and accidentally made what people refer to as Thoa <laughs> once. But you can't hurt me. I learn from my mistakes. Scrimps. <laughs> Once hot, add the batter to the quesadilla maker and spread evenly. Not too thick, the batter expands. And thinner means crispier. You will see it steaming, but that's fine. The problem is if you don't see it steaming. <laughs> Once the light turns green, open to check the texture. It should look like this. Remove and place on the baking sheet. Let it cool briefly and then cut along the perforations. You can use a knife or a pizza cutter, whatever you have on hand. Like a gun. No. <laughs> Be sure to trim off the excess cheese and let me try it to make sure it's not poisoned. Oh boy. Once cut, arrange on a baking sheet however you'd like. We're doing our loaded nachos like this. Once you have all of your ingredients back out, you're ready to start plating. Add the meats, avocado, sour cream, salsa, pimentos, which are important, red onions, then jalapenos. No. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like that? Is this how I've been making people feel? They should look something like this. Lastly, sprinkle with some of the Mexican cheese blend and then place the tray in the oven for three to five minutes at 450 degrees or until the cheese is melty. These look amazing. This is what teamwork gets us. Yeah, I'm excited to eat this. Cheers, baby. Cheers. Your Q-chips are a winner. They really hold up, delicious and extra cheesy. All the goodness of nachos without the carbs and grains. Thanks, babe. Your plating really complements the dish. Each fancy nacho is full of flavor and super delicious. I'm a nacho god. Thanks for cooking with us tonight. There are plenty more recipes for you to try. Click this playlist and plan your next date night. See, babe, I told you that was the milkman's kid. What?